Is evolution a requirement for innovation? In the 19th century, the theory of abiogenesis was widely accepted, much like evolution is today. Charles Darwin strongly promoted this idea that life was generated by non-life. However, Louis Pasteur, a French microbiologist and believer in biblical creation, made a startling discovery. In the early 1860s, he conducted experiments comparing organic material that was directly exposed to air to organic material that was not directly exposed to air. And the result? Nothing grew in the vessels that were not directly exposed to air and airborne microbes. This confirmed biogenesis, meaning life always comes from life. Pasteur declared, never will the doctrine of spontaneous generation recover from the mortal blow struck by this simple experiment. His studies led to the practices of sterilization and pasteurization, particularly in the areas of medicine and food preparation. Along with German physician Robert Koch, he shares the title of the father of germ theory and bacteriology, having conducted experiments supporting the theory that germs cause disease. Pasteur went on to research the rabies virus, developing a non-virulent vaccine that in 1885 saved a nine-year-old boy who had been bitten by a rabid dog. And when anthrax was destroying entire flocks of sheep in France, Pasteur successfully vaccinated them against the disease. Must a person believe in evolution to be an innovating scientist? Louis Pasteur's life clearly showed the answer is no. With a known belief in biblical creation, Pasteur was an innovator whose work set the foundation for some of the most important advances in our modern world.